Hey guys, Tom from Time to Customs back again. Um, those of you that have seen the uh, MNR 1.2 video that I did um, have probably seen the uh, Bits Power water blocks that I used on the Rampage 2 Extreme. Um, I chose the Bits Power blocks out of the other blocks that are on the market uh, because the quality was just, um, compared to some of the other blocks, the attention to detail and they were just, for what I wanted, they were amazing. They ticked all of the boxes. Um, so when I was talking to Bits Power a, a few months back, um, they mentioned to me that they were going to be starting to produce their own uh, graphics card water blocks as well. Um, and I was, I was quite excited by that. Plain and simple, because Bits Power tend to think slightly out of the box. They won't just go for the, the middle ground. So they won't just go for, it works, it looks alright, it's okay. Um, Bits Power prepared to push the boat out and go that little bit further. Yes, normally it does cover, come with a higher cost. Um, but if you guys or anything like me, normally that cost is just well, well worth it. So I've got the Bits Powers um, water block for the 4870X2 here. Um, I've got the 4870X2 block because it's ATI's top of the range card at the moment. Um, they're, obviously the 5000 series are fast approaching, um, but it's quite difficult for us to be able to show you the 5870 blocks and we're not really meant to show you the, the cards and all that kind of thing yet. So I've, I grabbed the 4870X2 block because it's a top of the range card and I want to test A how it cools. Um, but from what I've been told, the, the Bits Power water blocks are all going to follow a very similar theme. So I've, I've got this here for you today, for you to have a look at, see what you guys think. It'll be quite difficult for me to do a video review um, of the block and all the testing it'd probably drag on and be quite boring so we'll just do a box opening and then in one of my other videos for you um, later on I'll link you to the full review and all the testing on Overclock 3D. So I've got the box opening for you today um, but I would very much like to hear all your guys thoughts uh, if you just post underneath um, about the water block because Bits Power will be watching this to see what you guys think of it. So we'll get it open it arrived in Bits Power's normal black box, nice and simple. So we pop it open. I've already opened it and had a look. But get it open. First thing you get to is a nice bit of foam to keep it all together. Now, in with the box straight away, it comes with a Bits Power sticker. Some of Bits Power's 90 degree rotary fittings. Then we've got a Bits Power SLI or Crossfire connector, screws into either side of the water block. And then we've got the water block. Um, now, for me, get ready for this because I think this is the best looking water block I've ever seen. Now, I don't say that lightly, this thing is the nut. And there we are, I'll bring it in so you can see. Now, this top, I'll peel this film back, is mirror stainless. I'm trying to keep it in the middle, but I can't actually see the screen, so I'm having to guess where you can see. Yeah, that's mirrored stainless. That's a stainless steel plate on the top. Let me just check and make sure I'm actually getting it in the middle for you. There we go, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a mirrored stainless top. If I tip it on its side, I'm going to put it around this way. You can see that the barbs are here, coming out the side, and that's why you've got the 90 degree fittings. But this is a normal Delrin top, like everybody else, like all the other manufacturers use. But to keep the, the theme, like I said, they've put a mirrored stainless top on, which is bolted on, which I think is amazing. And the bottom of the block, is also mirrored. This is nickel plated. Now I'm not 100% sure yet whether this is a, a brass water block that's been nickel plated 
or a copper water block that's been nickel plated. I, um, I'm just waiting to hear back from Bits Power what they decided to use in the end um, and I'll put that at the side of the video for you all to see. I'm going to flip this back around again. There you go, you can see the Now if I let the uh, camera focus, there you go, you can see the mirrored stainless top, then the Delrin, and then you go round and you can see the nickel plated base. There you go, if you can see me there, the camera, you go down and you can see the, the light that I'm using. Now, what do you guys reckon? Because I reckon that's probably the best looking water block I've ever seen. I think that's amazing. I really, really like that. Let's see what else is in the box. Put that on some foam. Bits Power also sends you the tin pads that you would need, some spare o-rings for the block, um, mounting screws and washers and even a small syringe of arctic silver 5. So I, I, I can't believe it. When I, first time I saw this it took me about 5 or 10 minutes for me to get my jaw off the floor. Now as I said I will be doing a uh, full review on this, testing it for flow, um, pressure loss um, and obviously most importantly the temperatures as in does it work does it work well. We'll be testing it in comparison with an EK block because um, it's always got lying around in the office. Um, but yeah we'll be testing it against that to see how it fares and then uh, later on when the review's finished um, I'll, uh, I'll tell you about it in one of my other videos and link you to it in the side of one of the vids. But yeah, really would like your feedback on that block. Do you like it? Would you buy it? I think it's going to be retailing at about $120. Um, so $120, so say for, I would say in the UK it's going to be about 80 quid. Um, with customs, but 89 quid. So it's going to be the same money as the old EK ones were. Um, so pretty good value for money really when you consider how much nicer that looks. So, yeah, tell me what you think, guys. Love to hear from you. I shall talk to you soon. Tiny Tom Logan out.